So I'm trying to understand this. You snuck out last night, went beyond the walls of Corona, where you touched a mysterious rock that somehow caused your hair to return. Yes. And you acted alone? Look, I know you're angry, but can't you see? I'm okay. I'm more than okay. I... Rapunzel? There's something I need to tell you. I love you. The night you were taken, a part of me died, the best part of me. For 18 long and agonizing years, I swore that if somehow, some way, by some miracle, the fates decided to show mercy and return you to me, I would never let anything happen to you again. And now that this has returned, the very reason you were snatched away from me in the first place, I'm afraid I'm left with no choice, sweetheart. As of tonight, I am forced to exercise my martial right as king to forbid you from leaving the walls of this kingdom without my consent. Father! And know this, this is the last we will speak of mystical rocks or magic of any kind to anyone. Is that understood? There is so much more to me than you think. I believe somebody ordered room service. Eugene, how did you know? Uh, I had a feeling. Look, I just wanted to clear some stuff up. I haven't had the chance to apologize for putting you on the spot with that proposal. Well, looking back, storming out of the room probably wasn't the best reaction. <sighs> so I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, don't apologize. Look, I'll admit, I don't quite understand why you said no. But I promise to do everything I can until I do. Thanks, Eugene. And in the meantime, we'll stay right here and take things slowly. I miss this. Hey, promise me one more thing. Anything. That you'll be patient with me. Absolutely. Good night, Rapunzel. Good night, Eugene. Back to life after happily ever after. Stuck inside once again and I'm gazing out. True, I'm in here with those I hold dear, surrounded by their love. And for some, that's more than enough, no. Ready to follow it, who?